Hi, I'm Aaron Brady with AutoQ and I want to show you how to configure the QMaster Prompter software package for distance prompting. This operation can be accomplished with the standard QMaster software package and no add-on needs to be purchased. I will only be covering the changes to the recommended setup in this video, so for standard setup, be sure to watch the overview and setup videos before watching this further. Setup for distance prompting takes a couple of different forms based on the specific application and workflow you're trying to achieve. The first application we'll cover is distance prompting over a local area network. In this scenario, the QMaster computer can control the QBox from a remote location on the local area network. You'll keep both the QMaster computer and the QBox connected to that network, but the controller will be moved from the QBox to the QMaster computer. When you connect the controller to the QMaster computer, you'll need to configure that scroll controller. To do this, you'll click the Tools menu, select Options, expand the QBox Prompt Engines menu, and select Scroll Controls. From the list, you'll select the scroll controller you've connected. You can find further configuration details in the QMaster manual to help fine-tune the response of the controller if required. Now you're ready to import scripts or to type scripts directly into QMaster. Once you're ready to prompt, you can click the Prompt icon in the menu bar to begin prompting. The second distance prompting scenario is over wide area network or over the internet. Wide area network and internet operations require additional IT infrastructure, but no additional licensing or equipment will be required from AutoQ. You'll connect the QMaster computer to your local area network and the QBox to the wide area network using a VPN router or to the internet using the 3G or 4G null modem with a static IP. The wide area network and internet configurations make it possible to prompt talent from nearly anywhere in the world. You'll simply connect the controller to the QMaster computer as noted earlier and enter the IP address of the QBox into the QBox status panel. You'll see here that I'm using a 4G modem to connect the QBox to the internet. I've entered the IP address of the QBox into the QBox status panel and when I enter prompt mode, the entire running order is loaded into the QBox over the cell data network. Controller information is also carried on the same path, and I can check latency by pinging the QBox from a command prompt. You'll see that latency for this is far lower than for video over IP, video over satellite, and any other distance delivery mode. This makes prompting from a distance practical where it hasn't been before. Lastly, I'll enable the prompt monitor to allow the operator to follow the script position as displayed by the remote QBox. I'll click Prompt and select the Prompt Monitor. This configuration is particularly powerful, and we have 3G and 4G modems available for rent if you have a short-term production requirement and don't want to have to set this infrastructure up yourself. AutoQ's QMaster Prompter software package with QBox is in a class by itself. Be sure to view our other advanced configuration videos covering multi-head and autonomous QBox operation so you can get the most out of your AutoQ QMaster Prompter.